Hi, I'm Ken Sherman, senior editor here at CNET.com. I'm Donald Bell. And we're here with our very first look at the Apple iPhone. Yes! Woo! Woo! It's here! We waited a long time for this, so we're very excited to show it off. Now, I can tell you that all the stuff I've heard, this, design, this device is pretty, it's cool, it's, sl it's slim. Well, that's all true. I can definitely say that it's one of the prettiest cell phones I've seen. It's got a great design, it's very slim, very attractive. Of course, the big thing about this, as everyone probably knows, it, it does have a touch screen. It's pretty unique on a cell phone. More, a lot of them have it, but this one does take up the whole thing, and there are absolutely no buttons except one right down here that takes you back to the home menu. It's a couple things I want to show you on the touch screen, because I was really concerned about how easy it is to use. Can you type emails, messages really quickly? Can you move around and just do it with ease? And actually, it's not as bad as I thought. We'll go to the text messaging first. Heard a lot about this virtual keyboard. That pops right up. Actually, the buttons were large enough that even someone like me with fat fingers can press, uh, type out my messages pretty quickly. The only thing I was concerned about, though, is I really would like the keyboard to be displayed horizontally like this. It is only displayed vertically in portrait mode, so you can use two hands, but it just is a tiny bit crowded. So it's much more comfortable to use one finger, which just, just slows you down just a little bit. A couple of more things. Uh, we'll just look at the photos. This is a multi-touch screen. You've heard a lot about that. What that actually means is you can take your fingers, move them around in a way that is, un that you, is more than just tapping and swiping. So I'll select that picture of Donald. See, there he is. Beautiful. Actually go out, move your fingers out like that, That's and there's this nice zoom in, and pinch your fingers together, and you can see the picture gets close. Zoom back in. So it is pretty cool. Don't see that on a lot of phones. Finally, we'll just go to that Safari browser. Heard a lot about that as well. We'll operate over Wi-Fi. Uh, if you are in a Wi-Fi area, otherwise it's via the AT&T's Edge network, which is a little slow. But you can see there we have a CNET page. We'll go right back in, tap it, and it zooms right in. Move around just like that. So very cool web interface, really the best design I've seen on a phone. But of course this is the iPhone. It's all about music and video in a lot of ways. It makes calls too, of course. We'll have to test that later. But music and video, we'll go over to Donald. All right. Music and video. Well. Hidden in this uh, very expensive device is the world's coolest iPod. Um, if you click on the bottom right-hand corner um, icon, you'll get into the iPod mode here. The iPod's going to behave just as much, just as well, or just uh, identically to the way that your uh, files are organized on the latest fifth-generation iPod. Uh, but it's a lot more beautiful. It takes up the entire screen, all the real estates here. Uh, you can find your music. Uh, you can turn it into uh, landscape mode here. You can flip through your music using cover flow. Um, find an album you want to play. Double click on it. Find the track you want to play. Click on that. And it's already playing. And it's going to play either through the built-in speakers on the side of the iPhone here, or it's going to go through the headphone jack. On the headphone jack, uh, the iPhone includes uh, built-in what are very common-looking uh, iPod earbuds here. They're a little bit different. Um, these ones actually have a built-in microphone and a little switch on them so that you can answer calls uh, if calls come in while you're listening to your music. It's got a, a plug that fits perfectly inside of the recessed um, socket here for the iPhone. Unfortunately, the same socket is not going to work with a lot of common uh, wider uh, headphone jacks. So your pair of headphones you've got and you've invested some money in might not work with your iPhone, so that's a little disappointing. Um, other things that come with the iPhone, uh, you've got your iPhone dock, which will connect uh, perfectly with the iPhone, uh, which will end in a USB connection. USB connection can either go to your computer or it can go to the power block here. Power block can plug into the wall so that you don't need to have a computer around in order to charge your iPhone. It's a good thing. Just looking at it as a next generation iPod, I'm really happy. I'm, it's a great device. I just wish it was a standalone iPod and not uh, a feature that's just within this you know, expensive phone. What's wrong with a phone? The phone's great, but sometimes, you know, you just, just want to be alone with your music. Phones are good. Well, I'm Ken Sherman. I'm Donald Bell. And that's your very first look at the Apple iPhone. For more video like this, go to CNET.com and click on CNET TV.